Good morning, students. Let us begin the fourth experiment of biology, that is, to study the process of gamete development through the permanent slide of transverse section of testis and transverse section of ovary. First, we are going to see the transverse section of testis. As you remember, gamete is what? Gamete is a sex cell or reproductive cell. Which, whose nucleus unite together to give a new rise uh, of individual. Now, these gametes and this, the production of this gamete takes place in the gonads and by the process called as gametogenesis. Now, let us see testis, uh, transverse section of testis. If you remember, this transverse section of testis, basically they are made up of three layers. Three layers, the outermost layer, which comprises of the germinal epithelium. The outer layer, they are surrounded by germinal epithelium. See, the epithelium is germinal. They rest on these germinal epithelium. They rest on a layer, a thin layer, which is called as... They rest on a thin layer, which is called as this layer, this will rest on a thin layer which is called as tunica albigenia. This third, second layer is called as tunica albigenia. Okay. And outermost layer is your minor layer. Inside this, you will find interstitial tissue. Inside this you will find interstitial tissue and 3 to 4 lobules. 3 to 4 lobules which is called as seminiferous tubule. Now this seminiferous tubule, they contain long tubular fiber, uh, long you can say pyramid shaped structure. This pyramid shaped structure is called as Sertoli cells. This is called as Sertoli cells. You can either uh, call it as a mother cell or nurse cell. Now, inside the seminiferous tubules, these seminiferous tubules, they are segregated inside this by the interstitial tissue, by the interstitial tissue here, which is called as Leydig cells. Leydig cells. Now, let us see uh, through the permanent slides whether these structures are seen properly or not. Let us see, I am keeping this, this is the permanent slide of uh, TS of testis, we'll set it. Now, now can you see the transverse section of testis of a mammal here? All these structures are clearly visible. Now you can see the mammalian testis is surrounded by peritoneum which is followed by a connective tissue called as tunica albigenia. This test tube, you know, uh, the globules, there are globules which are, you can easily see here and they contains a mass called of structure called as seminiferous tubule and uh, it, it is clearly visible that it is separated by interstitial tissue. The pink color, I mean the longitudinal structure, you can see that is interstitial tissue and which is also called as Leydig cell. Remember the important function of Leydig cell. These Leydig cell, they are very, very important for the production of a male hormone called as uh, testosterone. Right. Now, this germinal epithelium, they consist of two cells. One is spermatogenic cell and another is Sertoli cells. As I told you, Sertoli cells, they are the supporting cells and they help to nourish the sperm over there. So, that is why they are called as mother cell. Now, this spermatogonia, the round structure you can see at the, uh, at the corner of this uh, seminiferous tubule, that they contain spermatogonia which give rise, which are seen here that there are various stages of development are there uh, towards the lumen, right? Now, this spermatogonia, they give rise to primary spermatocytes and this primary spermatocytes give rise to secondary spermatocytes, which is the little bit bigger one. And after that, this bigger one, they uh, germinate into, they develop into proper spermatozoa, which is a uh, 
sperm cell right and these sertoli cells which is a pyramid shape and columnar shape they nourish this spermatozoa and that this way this development of sperm takes place this is about the transverse section of uh, testis of a mammal yes now we have seen the transverse section of testis now let us see transverse section of ovary transverse section of ovary as you know that it is present in the female it is the female gonads now how this uh, this ovary look like when you see the transverse section of ovary basically again here the three structure is there outermost layer is the cuboidal germinal epithelium okay this outermost layer again is cuboidal germinal epithelium which is made up of germ uh, which is germinal in okay and again a thin layer of tunica albigenia is here a thin layer of tunica albigenia is there now but here what is the difference between transverse section of testis and ovary you will find here four region Four region is what? Number one is uh, outermost germinal layer. Number two is tunica albigenia, and inside that you will find here the nerves, the connective tissues. They arise, and this is this is a. This, these are two regions. Okay. Now here you will find the globules, the the ovarian follicles, and this ovarian follicles they are found in the cortex region these ovarian follicles they are found in the cortex region and this one in which the connective tissue are found that is called as medulla that means basically there are four layers uh, germinal epithelium tunica albigenia uh, cortex and medullary region now we will see what are how the uh, ovarian follicles develop how they look like through the permanent slide now this is the permanent slide of transverse section of ovary now now we'll adjust here on we will keep this uh, trans, uh, permanent slide on the stage of microscope and let us adjust the focus so that it can be clearly visible now this is the transverse section of mammalian ovary now you can see mammalian ovary is covered by the uh, cuboidal germin germinal epithelium and it is followed by tunica albigenia the ovary con uh, contains you can see uh, in between a connective tissue which is together we can call it uh, call it as a stroma and with this, with the, with an outer dense layer cortex and uh, the, the fibrous structure you can see in between that is inner medulla okay this cortex contains many small and large spherical ovarian follicles you know this lining of follicular cavity there is a cavity in between the fully matured follicle the bigger in size which you can see that is graphicon follicle and they contains a follicle cavity this follicle cavity you know give rise to the attachment of cells and that is called as primary oocytes and this the mammalian oocyte is enclosed in a perforated membrane that is called zona pellicle and the, after that an ovulation stage when it get, goes mature at uh, the maturation stage then it discharges the mature ovum that is called as ovulation and ruptured follicles transform into a yellowish solid mass of cells called corpus luteum and this secretes a very important hormone called as uh, pro uh, progesterone and estrogen which is a female hormone so this is together all the transverse section of ovary now we have seen the transverse section of ovary and testis now what is the conclusion we conclude that the male gametes are produced in the seminiferous tubules of the um, you know testis by spermatogenesis and the female gametes or ova are formed in the ovaries by oogenesis thank you